will see that we're in and we can we're the only one in there so far. Mm -hmm. One participant. That worked. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yep, it was. We're both blurry. We're both blurry. Did you know, did you test your audio? No, I will not do that. I don't know how to do it now, but if you sit down for it, let, let me sit down for a minute, I can figure it out. So it's recorded. Right. That's recorded. Oh my gosh. It's not a very good picture, you're right. Oi fe, oi fe. Oh, why this is so. <laughs> Doesn't it look bad? You want to redo it? You want to reach it? So what time is it? Seven forty-five. In that box, so it take all that paper. I don't know why this looks so bad. Maybe because we made it full screen. That's weird. Well. Let's just see what happens once you start messing around. It looks like Mike is on now. Hey. How clear is this? Call my Bubba, you'll see. And he calls up his Bubba and he says, Bubba, what if I told you I was coming from college this week for Shabbos dinner and I was bringing a girl with me? I, I, it's wonderful, wonderful. And if I told you that that it wasn't that I couldn't make it, she goes, I've been disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> And Tosh <laughs> means surprised, oh. also means disappointed. Ich bin and Tosh. And Tosh, that's what it is. Yeah. Well, it's it's eight o'clock. It's uh, and and I think hope, hopefully people all reset their clock because I didn't mm -hmm. reset my clock and I was thinking it was an hour earlier until I looked outside and said, you know what? I think we, I think I'm late. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, welcome everybody to Yiddish Alive tonight. Oh, um, and. Uh, you know, thanks for everybody for joining. Um, just a couple things is uh, that I want to mention is is that um, we want to keep everybody on mute when uh, not talking, so that we don't have any background noise. Um, when 
uh, when you want to speak, please raise your hand or you can use the thing that says reactions, which has a little raise hand thing and you can see what mine just did. That's a reaction. And then you can lower your hand. Uh, but I, and I have a big screen here so I can see everybody on the screen. So I should be able to see that. And I just want to um, just mention again that these uh, are sponsored by the Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs. Um, we have uh, now six affinity groups. And um, what um, uh, I'm, I'm going to do is, is one of them, I think there's been some interest here. We have a Jewish genealogy group. And I will send out an invitation to that if, uh, if people are interested. So. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Al for introductions tonight. Who is that? Sonny, who's been on? What's his name? Sonny. Al? No, Mazan and Dahl. Well, I mentioned Katsuki Dick. Yeah. Okay, is there anyone this evening that is brand new to the group? Would you just put your hand up like this so we know? Okay, so Toby is new. Anybody else is new? Okay. Toby, would you unmute, please, and just a couple of words, tell us where you're from, where you learned your Yiddish, a little bit about yourself, and if you can do it in Yiddish, noch besser. Yay. Kenestin in Yiddish. Kajke de. Nom is Tabe Herringe Neufeld. Ich bin in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, de jetzt bin ich in Deerfield, Florida. Ich fuhre heim für Jönte, für Pesach. Ich habe gelernt, mein Jiddisch, wenn ich bin gewesen geboren. Zu gewesen meine erste Sprache. Ich habe nicht gerettet Englisch, bis ich bin gewesen vier Jahre alt. Und habe alle Jahre gerettet Jiddisch mit meinem Mann und Tat, Oliver Von wie kommt ihr? Von wie kommt ihr? Ich komme von um, New York, von Brooklyn. Und ich bin geboren geworden in a DP camp in Italy. My mom and tat is in and survivors. Then they go like the show, the Holocaust, the Krieg. Um, then they go gang into Italy. But guys, then go all gang to Israel to go in Palestine. Others are not sure can't get on gang. My tat that got the fete in New York. But they are in Sydney to bring a red bit friend. So if we're not going. We have a Sach mentions the Zen and survivors, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sach mentioned though. Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah. Shirley. Yeah. Shirley. Yeah. Shirley, yes. Toby, V V in Italia Bista Geboren. In Cremona. Oh, yes. Yeah. Bista Geboren in a uh, camp near uh, by Milano. Mir auch, es ist bald Leben Milano. Es ist oh, east wow. of Milano, Cremona. A kleine Stuart, denke ich. Und ihr seid gegangen uh, zu Israel? Oh, Nein. Glach es ist gekommen in Glach oh, okay. Ah. Man ist gekannt gegangen zu Israel. Es ist gewesen für mich, für die Britisch. So man ist daran gelegt, an der Angelus für jeden. Und man hat gesagt, dass kein Mann Noch am Ulit verschlossen in a camp in Cyprus. Send and get him in a hair. Yeah, this is given in the Mishpoches Maise. My elder and near then and given in a camp. Yeah. The Biscoborn Gewagen in a camp? The Bistocher Geborgen in a camp? I think you're born in Dorton, yo. Ich habe Sachbad, nicht das Sachbad, ich habe Bilder. Ich möchte reden später. Ja. Okay. Ja, das ist sehr interessant. Kann ich auch fragen? Tova. Tova. Tova hat eine Schäle? Ja, ich habe eine Schäle. Ich will fragen die Frau, wo ist ein Jahr, hat sie dich gekonfunden, kein Alice ist Ruhe? Wo ist ein Jahr ist das gewesen? 1946. Ah, okay, 46. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A bit later, but not Okay, do we have anybody else yeah, yeah, yeah. this evening? Going once. Ain't mo. 
zweimal, dreimal. That's it. Okay, Joe. Wo ist er? Al. Was? Kennst du öfter gefilmt, ein Gitwort auf jedes von Survivors? Survivors ist ein Geusewort. Was kann man machen, ein Wort? Für Jiddisch. Nicht in Englisch. Richard, you had your hand up. Look at the end of it. Look at the end of it. Okay, let's uh, let's move on to the next um, next item. Uh, Al, you were uh, Al. I think Joe was going to. Introduce a, a person yeah. that's been here. Yeah. yeah, let's. We have time tonight. I'd like uh, Michael. I don't remember your background. Kennst du in Zugen ein bisschen von deiner Mischbuche von Vidi Kims in Bielefeld gelernt? Can I give you a word? Could you use the word that that sailing? It's a little bit nicer. It's a little bit nicer. We we zugen, okay? Noch einmal, Tobi. Zug mir noch einmal. Das Wort kennst kennst mir der Seil. Kennst du der Seil? Der Seil. Okay. Michael, take it away. Okay. Ich wohne in Sharon, Massachusetts, und ich lerne bei dem Arbeiterring für zwei Jahre. Meine Seele und Bobby kommt von Gradna. Und, und sie reden uh, auf Jiddisch, aber nicht zu de, dem Eneklach. <laughs> so uh, Jiddisch is my hobby. Uh, uh, and my, and, and, and my, and my, and my, and my, and my gewesene Frau is an ex-Klausenberger Chassid. Aber sie red nicht mit mir. Sie is gewesen a bisschen mit Schugena. Oh, all all of the seeds are in the sugar. Yeah. Uh, I have a daughter. She gets in the sugar. Uh, uh, uh, her pet, her, her, her, her, her, her, made her that way, unfortunately. Thank you Zizas, for sharing. She's a Satmar. Uh, well, uh, Klausenberg is, is, is, is close to Satmar, yeah. Yeah, face. Yeah, this, from, yeah, yeah. From, from, was, from Hungary. Yeah. Then, Michael, yeah. when did you start to learn Yiddish? What's you start to learn Yiddish? What's started. What started. Uh, well, uh, it's been a year. It's been a year. Wow. Zay is shame. And you learned Yiddish? That's very good. What? That's very good. You learned Yiddish. What's the first thing in school? Uh, with uh, in the arbitering with uh, yeah, David like Brown. Oh, the arbitering. Arbitering, yeah. Workman circle. Very nice. Zer shay. And we have time for one more. So, David Popolsky, so can a bit of a dinner. Mishpuchen via Stigler and then Yiddish. David Popolsky. David, where's David? God, I'm mute. I'm mute, David. I'm mute, David. David, I'm mute. Hit the space bar if nothing else works. I got it. Were you talking to me? Da oh, David. David. David Popowski. Okay, yeah, I'm David Petru. I'll mute, mute, mute myself again. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, I, David, you can't. We don't hear you. You're muted. Try hitting the space bar on your keyboard. That'll also unmute you. All right, I've got it. I'm unmuted. Okay. <laughs> Ask if they can hear you. Can everybody hear me? Yes, can I hear you? Yes, can I hear you? Yes, can I hear you? Yes, can I hear you? Yes, can I hear you? Yes, can I hear you? Yes, can I hear you? My mom and my tata. Showing me my mama lotion. Ich bin in ich bin born in America in uh, how do you say 1950? 1950. And showing 
my mom and Tata came to America November 9 and 30, ich bin June 9 and 9 50. Can't say that in English. Um, but was um, in, in Charleston, the uh, Charleston, the, no, in Charleston, Sahid and Red Yiddish. Sahid and Red Yiddish, Betty's uh, Muta and Futa, Red Yiddish. Asach uh, Yidin McKim's, how do you say before? Before the war. The Charleston. You hope the Sach Yidin do. I mean, for a kleiner town, kleiner Stibel. And Yich Gehert Yiddish, a ganze took. Wow. My mama, my tata. Neighbors, um, my mom and tata, uh, Blois, um, uh, Betty's, uh, Betty's tata, mama, mit Razi, mit uh, her machatonen, gered Yiddish, and um, so yich gehört, and yich gelacht, medaf lachen, selena, ja, ja. Okay, thank you. Michael. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You can move on. <laughs> so, so, so what we wanted to do next was we had um, Esther Beckman and Barbara Wind had something that they wanted to share with us. So I think I saw Barbara and I, I think Sorry, Esther. Esther's here too. You guys want to take over. Go ahead. Barbara, do you want to start, please? No, you start, Esther. Okay. Um, <laughs> Okay, my my tire friend Anita Zucker, I gesagt to me, ich bete, ich bete, red mit Barbara Wind. So, uh, uh, ich had gesagt, ich kenne Barbara Wind, and ich, ich, I, you know, I, I, ich would, ich will red mit her, and and Barbara had had get. Uh, um, oh gosh, uh, called, she called. And she had gesucht as uh, El Baba uh, by the, the nomen Bluma uh, hot. Uh, Oh, hat the uh, uh, nomen Blume rip. Aber gesagt, oh, ma seide, wenn my tante hat gen, gen, hat the nomen um, Pinchas rip. And um, he, ma, ma tante, ma, ma seide, and, and, and uh, ma baba hat geleben in Novi Sainz, Poland. And baba, Barbara had gesagt, ja, Ma Baba and Ma Ma Zaida and Ma Tata Oichet had given in Novi Sans Poland. Had given. Had given. Thank you, Toba. Had given in Novi Sans Poland. And um, uh, Barbara and I had got a bissel uh, and sh and um, Z had given in some time. And she had got alte bilder and find alte bilder. Ein man, ein man had get get the same and the same punim as my zaida. Wow. And ah, ich ich was. Yeah, yeah. Nish nish gegat welter for this, and um, Barbara Barbara and uh, Mia uh, are zweite cousina. Wow, <laughs> that's great! Wow, a dank to a dank to Anita. Da, a große dank to Anita. Wow, haben wir das getroffen? Ein ein ein 
ein Tag, wenn sie hat, äh, spaziert in der Neighborhood äh, mit äh, David Popolski. Und wir haben äh, ungeheuer zu reden. Und sie, und sie hat gefragt, für, für, wie sind ihr? Und ich habe gesagt, äh, meine Eltern sind in, ähm, ähm, die Mom ist von Rumänien oder der Tata ist von Novi Sanj Polen. Und also ich hat sie ähm, äh, gesehen, als ich und, ähm, in Esther sind äh, von derselben Platz und maybe in, in Efscher besprochen. Und also ist, ist, ist, ist, äh, ja. Cousin ist, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Kleine Welt, kleine Welt. Kleine Welt. Unsere Tat haben nicht ge, ge, ähm, sie haben nicht ge, äh, gekannt als, äh, als der andere. Als, äh, sie sie in, nicht gewusst. Nicht gewusst. Nicht gewusst. Als, als, äh, einer von der anderen lebt, weil sie dann wow. zurückgegangen zu Navi Sanj nach dem Elchoma. Sie haben gesehen, als das ganze Städtel, es ist nicht gewesen ein Städtel, es ist eine provincial city, uh, aber sie sind in alle uh, uh, über, uh, sie sind alle ge gemaut, uh, Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Gestorben. Uh, lange gedauert uh, uh, in, in Polen. Mein Tat nicht da sei, weil, uh, weil es, es ist nicht, nicht gewesen, wem zu, zu, zu, zu sein, zu, zu, weil keiner hat nicht gelebt. Also er hat er gedenkt. Well, man darf machen einen DNA-Test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, we wissen, dass wir wissen, dass wir wissen, dass wir wissen, dass wir wissen, dass wir wissen, dass wir wissen, dass wir wissen, Barbara, Barbara and me. Yeah. Wow. Barbara, Barbara and, uh, and Esther, could you give a Cliff's note for the ones here that don't speak as well Yiddish as you guys do? Just a quick, quick a real short summary of what you all said. Sure. Uh, Esther, Esther and David were walking in the neighborhood because she lives uh, in the neighborhood. Anita, that I Anita and David. Anita, yeah. I'm sorry, Anita. And uh, we started talking and uh, And we realized that we were both uh, children of survivors, and uh, and um, and just you know, I must have mentioned Navi Sanj, and it must have uh, rung a bell for her um, that Esther was from Esther's family was from there, and um, and so we eventually um, after I was away for the summer in in the Berkshire, but after I came back uh, somehow. We met over the phone, and then we met last week in, uh, in, in Esther's home. And it was just a wonderful, wonderful meeting because once she saw the photograph of our great-grandfather, she knew. And then her husband came in later and saw that photograph and said exactly the same thing. That's your family, because that's what they look like. And it turns out that I have uh, a, a, another cousin in uh, San Antonio. Oh, I don't, it, it's, it's my father's cousin in San, San Antonio who was born to my grandmother's sister uh, who married a man from San Antonio. And, uh, and he looks just like Hirsch, uh, Hirsch Riff, right? Yes, yes. 
And so Barbara would be my only relative from my father's side. Yes. And, and, and, we, and, and we know we are because we related, the, the photographs are so clear. Um, and, and, and, and memories of, of, of yes. stories about uh, great, -grand, great, great grandparents, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yes. We have the same stories of our great grandparents. And uh, so that's it. Great grandparents, maybe. We, we're not Fantastic. sure. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I'm very oh. proud. Anita, you should be thank very you. proud. We are thank so you. grateful thank to you. you. It's Anita. amazing. It's yeah. amazing. Yes. Good so, good yeah. good thank good you for letting good us good. share that with you. Yeah. Wow. So just, just as a plug for our other affinity group, the, the uh, uh, genealogy one, you, you might be surprised if you both took the DNA test, how many others you'll find. And, and by both, by knowing how you're related, you can find out how other people are related. And, and you know, we've got long stories about people that we found. We found Shirley's whole family that we didn't even know was alive. Through, through well, I'm sure that we're related because the Halberstams uh, or, or the, the, the Sanzer, the original Sanzer, I, I think uh, married several times and had many, many children. So I'm sure that there are a lot of relatives, but many of them are um, uh, are Hasidim and uh, neither, yeah. uh, although my father supported the Hasidim, um, we were not a Hasidic family and neither was Esther's. So, um, so we're very distant, distant from them um, in, in certain ways, you know, they, I, you know, they're Babov and uh, so, uh, and I think Babov and Klausenberg. So it's, um, it's it's a uh, it's a far remove from us. Yes, I'm afraid Yiddish. Joe, you wanna you wanna continue? I don't know what are we doing. I'm lost. What statement? What statement? What statement? What's built in there? What we want to do tonight? It's guilt. A sad guilt. Passover is coming up. Everybody must have a good story about Passover, something that they remember, either funny or, or very dear to their heart. And we'd like everybody to tell a story. I know Shirley had one, it, it, it will crack you off. But, uh, sure. but anyway, I, so, so who would like to tell a story about- Yep, yeah, uh, I have something, but it's not funny. So maybe the funny <laughs> should go first. I have a, war, a little war story, so, but it's not funny. Okay. I should do it. Go ahead, go. Okay. Ich bin gewesen in, in uh, Arbeitslage in Polen. Ich bin gewesen fünf in a half year alt. Meine Eltern sind gegangen zu der Arbeit. In a junge Frau, 18 Jahre alt, ist geblieben mit den Kindern. Sie hat gesagt, ein Mal Kim schnell, wir wollen etwas tun. Hat sie insgesamt is gegeben Mehl, uh, Flour, und ein bisschen Wasser. Und sie hat gesagt, wir wollen das Spiel. Nehmt das Wasser und nehmt das Mehl und mischt es zusammen. Hab ich habe mir das gemischt. Und dann hat sie gemacht, als er Ofen in Dreusen. Sie, sie hat gesagt, nehmt das und macht es rund. Mach es ein Ball. Haben die Kinder das getan? Ich habe nicht gewusst, wo das ist. Als es gewesen sehr dünn, hat sie uns gegeben eine Guppel. Und sie hat gesagt, das soll sie uns. Nehmt das Guppel und macht Lächer. Aber sehr schnell. Habe ich gesagt, verwusst das so schnell? Ich bin gewöhnt sicher. Ich bin gewöhnt für eine, eine halbe Jahre alt. Als ich will es nicht machen, schnell, wird man mich da hergenommen. Weil in dem, dem Lage ist gewesen, die Deutschen mit, sei, mit seinen, um, how do you say, guns, I don't even know how to say it in Yiddish. Um, Bix, Bixen. Bixen, ja, ja, ja, ja. Machine guns, Bixen. Habe ich gemeint, oi, ich, sie hat gesagt, mach schnell, mach schnell, mach, mach es sehr schnell. Habe ich gesagt, oi, ich wusste nicht, ich habe ganz sehr kleine Händler, habe ich gesagt. Gemacht schnell und es ist gewöhnt als ein Plätzel. 
hat sie auch so gesagt, sie ist. Sie tut es nicht essen. Sie tut es nicht essen. So, ich muss nicht essen. Wir sind gewöhnt, also hingerig. So, ich sag, wir sind gewöhnt, zehn Kinder. Alle fünf, sechs Jahre alt. So, sie, die Torst ist nicht essen. Habe ich gesagt, okay, du bist es geben zu deiner Mama in Tate, also wir werden zurückkommen für die Arbeit. Das heißt, es gibt sehr schwer, es nicht zu essen, aber ich habe nicht gegessen. Und meine Eltern sind gekommen nach Heim, nach Heim, in, in das Zimmer. Ich habe es gegeben zu sehen. Und dann, das erste Sache, meine Mama hat gesagt, oi, heute ist Pesach. Heute ist der erste Tag Pesach. Das ich habe nicht gewusst, was Pesach ist. Wo es ist, hat sie angefangen zu weinen, weil sie nicht gar keine Familie, alle sind in der Hage geworden. Uh, so sagt sie mir, einmal du wirst öfter auswachsen, öfter wirst du wissen, wo es Pesach ist. Jetzt das geht es dir nicht so. Das ist meine erste Memory of my first Passover. Und es war, ich denke, Uh, April 1st, weil ein paar Tage später habe ich gehört, dass es gewesen die uh, uh, uh, uh, Off, how do you say, Off, the Up, it, it, Warsaw, the Warsaw Ghetto, well, I was having a, um, I don't even know how to say it in Yiddish. Uh, and up, uh, Warsaw uh, is Varsha. A what? Warsaw is Varsha. No, no, no, I know Warsaw. No, no, uh, the Warsawa is Polish. Oh, uh, what is it called? It, it was a, uh, uh, uh, uh, the revolution there. What is it? Oh, Aufstand. Warsaw ghetto. Uh, uh, Aufstand. Oh, uh, the Aufstand. Uh, yeah, that, that's Aufstand. the word. Yeah, Aufstand. It's uh, gewesen Pesach. Sei Aufstand is gewesen Pesach. This is, this is what I'm saying, it's a Geschichte, but it's a very, I think it's very good. What's her name, Barbara? It was an uprising there at the, in the Warsaw Ghetto then. Right. It, it, around, around, around April time. Pass, around Passover time. Yeah, yeah. It, yes, it was the first Seder. It's a wonderful right, exactly. story. Zeya uh, Shane Geschichte. I hope you have for the other Sachen. I hope I will not have known who is a Yid. I hope you have known who is a Yid. I hope you have known who is a Yid. Richard, you had your hand up. Kaiser. Richard, Kaiser, you had your hand up? Uh, no, but uh, the Obstand is given in the 43. In Pesach, Pesach, I've been born a little später. I've been born. Uh, April uh, uh, 23. And the Warsaw is given that the Havoc real uprising. The Upstand. Upstand. Upstand. That's the word. Yeah. Yeah. yeah. Richard, we bist du geboren in America? Yeah. Name. Yeah. But I've been talking if Kavach's met Mama Lushen, but I'm an elder flagger in Yiddish in the Hame. And uh, I've been to I've been to uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shirley does that. In the in the look, uh, David. My my uh, my father was in the Warsaw during the uprising. My father could visit and do. In war in, in the, uh, the Warsaw. Yeah, I've been in. Yeah. Okay. Surely. Uh, this is a Paisartike Mans Nishta Ghetto. Ich gedenk nicht wie alt ich bin gewesen in the Mantate of Tungifir the Seder in uh, Isuru. In Mazalagazitzen Ban Tish and uh, Abyssal Fashikirt. And the time that we have the tear for Eliyahu. And I go to the tear and I make it. And a greater hint springs around. 
Tell us, tell us that story in English, please. In English, uh, this was in Israel. We were all seated around the table and uh, a little drunk from uh, the four cups of wine. And when it came time to open the door for Elijah, I was told to go open the door. I opened it up and a big dog jumped into the house. <laughs> we got so scared. It was the neighbor's dog. He just wanted the little man of Shabbats, you know? <laughs> I have a story to share. Barbara, please. That, that, um, that, I, that I told after. <laughs> Barbara, you're too far away. You're too far away from the computer. I'm too far away from the computer? Now we can hear yeah. you better. There you go. So, um, so I, I was, we were, when I was with Esther last week, we were talking about um, uh, health in, in our families. And we um, and we determined that stroke was was um, we didn't have a lot of illnesses, but stroke was uh, apparently ran in in our genes, and um, and so I told Esther a story that my father told me about his great grandfather, his grandfather or great grandfather, uh, when it came time to, uh, to open the door for Eliyahu. He stood up and greeted Eliyahu and um, and died. Oh wow! So the uh, so the, the family legend was that he actually saw Elijah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, I, I you, you, that reminds me of one that I heard. My grandfather told me also not also not so good. His grandfather. They all they all ate the head from the fish, you know, the bones, and he choked to death. Oh, he choked. Oh, and he and died. That's who, and that's who my grandfather was named after, actually. Did fish? he die? No, no, Abraham. <laughs> oh, I thought it was official. Fish, no, it, was fish. <laughs> it was official. <laughs> uh, Mike Blazer, you had your hand up. Okay. Jede Jahr, Pesach ist interessant, jede Jahr, aber der letzte Jahr gewesen, sehr interessante Pesach, mit Gerd Pesach bei Zoom. So, ich habe zwei Töchte, sei oben mit Spruches, und meine älteste Tochter ist geheiratet mit Mike's Cousin, Mike Mel, Mike und Shirley's Cousin. Sei ein bisschen mit Spruches, du. Uh, so we got uh, so we got uh, Pesach in three stieber uh, with three platen. We uh, got it. So it was very good. I will so it ended in a in a in a new vase. We didn't say uh, next year in Jerusalem. We said next year to Zeme. Not to Zeme. And uh, sadly, also I will so it not not say this year. This year's given is on. Uh, no hamu mit Zoom. Everybody understood? Or do I have to repeat? Uh, every year is every year is special. Pesach is always special, but the last year because of Zoom uh, made it unique. And somehow, as I'm sure everyone found a way, a new way to make it uh, special for our children and grandchildren. The only thing that was different is we uh, we ended with not next year in Jerusalem, but next year together. So. Uh, but sadly, it's not going to be. Uh, we're going to have another remote Zoom this year. So, I uh, we have the the oldies have their shots uh, in Zvoina in New Canaan, Connecticut. So, ibezikt finivazachtsik om the medicina, but the yinga om noch nish yet. So, mi kenis kimit zusammen noch. So, Mike, why, why don't you tell them how our families are related now? So tell them the story. Uh, and because of my good heart. The answer is because of my good heart. <laughs> uh, uh, Mike's, Mike's cousin. Okay. I mean, this is the easiest setup for you, Shirley. Uh, Mike, Mike, the cousin, he came to Tzilerne uh, uh, graduate school uh, due in America, in Connecticut, and so he was in Yontef. 
and they had given a line uh, in school, uh, and my could get cling me and get fragen ob a viv can kimis a rents for yontev. And find a viewer später at Kassen and my elder tochter. Uh, nice. Nice. Well, we got to tell them how we, how we know each other. How many years? I have a question. Uh, McKenna's, uh, let's see. McKenna's uh, college, university. Purdue University. So, and you're still friends. And you're still, that's amazing. <laughs> so. Who had a question? Uh, David? I do. David. Can anyone say the four questions in Yiddish? Yo, yo, yo, yo. Everybody's got a view. We're getting some background noise. Yeah. Me Frank say in English. Me Frank say in English, in Hebrew, and in Yiddish. I can't just get thinking out for that. I will just ask a question. Who is the next one? The Shvin Alenach. I usually read it. In Alenach. Es in mir. Es in mir. What is the first one? Chometz. Chometz. Und die Nacht an morrow, yeah? Something like that? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. I don't remember the Kashi. That's the problem. The Matzah. Um, I remember all the Nacht, this is real. Gleich, Heint, Mismut, Zayn, Ugespan, something like that. But we do it. It's, it. I don't have it in front of me, but we do. And we do something else. We read. There's a wonderful Yiddish, uh, like a like a little story about the uprising, about the uprising in Warsaw Ghetto, the first night. We read it in Yiddish about the uprising and what happened and so forth, and we translate to anybody who doesn't understand it. But we do it in Yiddish. I just don't have it in front of me. If I had it. When I was a young man, also a young man, three years old, so I, the first seder I remember, and I know in my mother's father, my, my mother's father, the grandfather, we used to say Zaydi, ich will der Fragen der vier Kasches, der erste Kasche is, but then we would trans, uh, transfer over to the Hebrew, and I know that my mother used to say also everything in Yiddish. But we did the introduction to each question in Yiddish and then in Hebrew. Abba, Echabia, Nochameisa, when the Schwermeine is given a younger man, a teenager actually, er mit the andere hat gefunden in Drusen, erst von the Kirkimen von Elianovi, and the Hubb Genemenat Sig. Oh, a sugar grate tig stuck in the tear when the mom, when the daughter, when the mama is good, comments to effing in the tear is uncommon. The tig, this day, the other tig is uncommon. A rethic geschichte? Ayah. Ayah. Yeah, so what, what, what happened is the teenage boys would go outside in the street, grab a goat. And just as they were getting to the part where Elianovi was coming, the wife would go, the mother would go to open the door. When they opened the door, the goat would come walking in instead. <laughs> they got into plenty of trouble. <laughs> you know, but the, they used to do this in, was this in Poland? Yeah. Yes. Yes. In Poland. That, by, by the way, that was not so uncommon. We used to call it the, uh, the uh, yeah, they would the non Jews would do that to us, not the Jews. Well, they would no, have this was uh, Jews doing it to themselves. <laughs> oh, okay. I, they used to I, say I, the cause, you know, of the word cause in Polish, the cause came. Hannah, Hannah's yeah. got her hand up. Hannah, go ahead. You have to unmute yourself. Go ahead. Yeah, you have a lot of the I guess the man familiar. So, man, Tatis, um, Fete in Toronto. 
fragt zu lernen die ganze Hagade, gelernt in Hebräisch und vertauscht zu Jiddisch. Kein Deutsch hat nicht, nicht gekannt, allein in Englisch. So, zu wissen, was man redet, hat er vertauscht, als sind sie Jiddisch. Wow. This is a lang, a, a sehr lange Seder. A sehr lange Seder. Anita has her hand up. Like this many, yeah, okay. Go ahead, Anita. Zaya, Anita. Okay. Um, ich habe Familie, uh, Mishpacha, und mein Mishpacha hat gesungen in, in Yiddish ein Song. Ein. Um, Oi be fine, oi be shame, is the to give vain, we glick hock a hub dear give vain, then a hub dear give And it's just part of Chad Gadja and the, you know, and yeah, the goat yeah. and the whole nine yards. Yeah. So, singing. I only know that verse, but my um, my sister in law's father used to sing it at every Seder. Oh, yeah. so. When, when, yeah. when, what part of the Seder would he sing that? Oh, you sing it at the end. You do all the songs. Oh, Had -gad -ya. Oh, oh, with the Had -gad -ya. Mm -hmm. You sang the whole thing in Yiddish. Yeah. yeah. I saw you Mort. know, Mort, did you have your hand up? Mort? My Tachter can sing in the Ganze, the Ganze Zach, in, in Yiddish. Who are we looking for, Mike? I thought Mort had his hand up, but I guess not. Okay. Who else has yeah, his hand up? Oh, the only thing she just said, I, uh, I was going to comment or ask whether anybody here actually knows Chagadja and Yiddish. My Zaydi may rest in peace. It is beautiful. Well, that's what Anita was saying. He sang the whole Chagadja in Yiddish. That's yeah, fantastic. It's a shame we don't have those recordings, huh? Well, actually, if you go on YouTube and you uh, and you um, look for Theodore Bikel, you can find a lot of Yiddish uh, Passover songs. Um, so I, I recommend that highly. You know, my my father was a singer. He was an actor and a singer, and he read the Seder the old-fashioned way. He did everything. We just sat quietly, but it was beautiful because he was singing so well. So one day he said to us like this, one day I won't be here anymore. I'm going to record everything for you. So while I'm dead, I want you to play my song. I want you to play, uh, to have me at your Seder. And we did it. So he died and I had my children, my four children, and we had him to our Seder for years and years until the grandchildren said, it's enough. We don't understand it. And besides, they said, we want to participate. We don't want grandpa to sit there and because my father said the whole thing. He asked the questions, he answered, you know. So, but for years I did it, but we, st we still have his tapes of his singing, you know, try to, he tried to be there after his death. And you still have those tapes, that's why. Yeah, I have them some, yeah, that's, the tapes. That's amazing. Wow. So I quickly went out on the uh, internet and I have Chagadja in Yiddish if you want to hear it, but you have to yeah. share my screen. Let's go for it. Yes. All right. If Mike, if Mike will give me screen sharing, I will try to put it up for yeah, you. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I want to hear it. I have to do something here. Hold on a second. Sure. Okay. Ooh, I got I remember how to do this now. <laughs> okay. Now you can do it. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So let me do this and let me do this. Now, everyone mute yourselves, please. I can mute, I can unmute everybody or mute everybody if I need to. We don't hear anything. Alan, we don't hear anything. Uh, 
İyi teşekkür ederim. Peki unmute. Alo. Did you mute Alan? All right, we'll work on it next year. Joe, did you say that's not coming through? No, yeah. I need to share the audio. Okay. Um, not sure how that's done differently. Uh, do, do, do, do. Share the audio. How do I do this? Share screen. It's, dis it's disabled again. All right. Sorry, I tried. Maybe next time. Okay. Okay. I want you to tell one story though. No, no, story. no, no. Okay. No, we're not going to try in there. Mike, tell it in Yiddish. I'm not. I can't tell it in Yiddish. <laughs> next time. Next time. Gosh, we we we had a couple things sent to us. We're going to see yeah. if we can share this one. We sent over the rainbow. Shirley Berman sent this, which oh, was okay. really nice. Let's see if I can get it up here. Hang on. All right, see if we have any technical problems here. All right, let me try sharing this in one second. Here, you're, you're unmuted. Very nice. Beautiful. Very so I, nice. What's the Jewish word for rainbow? Regenbogen. Regen oh, Regenbogen. Yeah. Regenbogen. Regenbogen. Yeah. Yeah. Regenbogen. So, so By the way, word, I, the word I, I heard. Bow is boygen? Yeah. Boygen is a bow. Boygen. Boygen. Boygen. Actually found out. When you bow down, it's also boiling, you know, so it's that turning of the, the that, you know, I heard a beautiful song by Pete Seeger, uh, Tumbala Laika. Oh, yeah. Beautiful on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you have something? So, so set me up. Esther, you had something. Yeah, if there's something to uh, Shirley and Mike, uh, Diost Zaya Zaya Shane Kinda in Einikyach Zaya Shane. Yeah, yeah, Emmis, Emmis. Yeah. All right, Mike, I think I got it. Can I try this again? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. I think we got it this time. In Geschäften gilden zwei, der hier dachte in der Reihe, kurz und zickele an, ich hab gab you.
Der Katz kann nicht schön kicken, das singet mit den Dricken, den zieht ihr da an Ricken, hat Gott jung. Schnellling geschwind, in der Größe hin, dem Katz soll er umschind, hat Gott jung. Noch im Mitten sich bald lecken, in Tuna Größe stecken, der Mitten klebt bald decken, hat Gott jung. Der Hin, oh ihr Bild, auf Feier wachst uns wild, den stecken wir an Hild, hat Gott jung. Wasser gibt's im Fließen, den Feier wird bald gießen, gemeint mit dem Entschließen, hat Gott jung. Ah, der Oxaran er hinkt, bleibt uns Wasser trinkt, mit der Stasso ihr schlingt, hat Gott jung. Gräser wird der Matze, mit Chatzkele der Katze, der Ochse sich muss Chatze, hat Gott jung. Wie zum Chippe spazieren, dem Ochs schrieb der Vieren, kein Koch muss nicht probieren, hat Gott jung. Komm her um Schecht, Blitzling wird ihm schlecht, als er ihm ist gedächt, hat Gott jung. In der schwarzen Lalech, er seht, was ich dem Malech, er wird, was wie Kalech, hat Gott jung. Der Malech tracht den Schwein, jetzt ist ein Job in drei, mit dem Scheuchel des Verbei, hat Gott jung. Der Reib ist der allein, kein Juchel gibt sie kein, beim Suchen war der Stein, hat Gott jung. Den Kopf im Mund geschnitten, genickt für die gelitten, meine Kinder wollen chieten, hat Gott jung. In der Gitterschuh, singe hat Gott jung, in Jerusalem, le Schum, no Abu. In der Gitterschuh, singe hat Gott jung, in Jerusalem, le Schum, no Abu. That was great. That was, that was really good, good sound. That was good sound. Okay. Okay. We got, we got one more, one more, and then we're, we're going to tell a little story about uh, about uh, Passover in a second. But I'm going to see if I can do this. No. Hang on. We'll share this. And this I was. I thought I stopped it. <laughs> this was very funny. I think you like this. This is John Ewan, and, and and this is Jennifer Gray, Gray. Gray, but your grandfather. Mickey Katz, right. one of the great, uh, it was called a klezmer singer. Right. Right. He like Jewish parodies of hit songs. Jewish parodies of hit right. songs, a, a dialect comedian. And uh, he's renowned, he's very famous in his day. Huge. Huge in his day. We actually came up with one of his uh, albums right here, is Mickey Katz and his orchestra. Oh, I love that. Yeah, did you, did you knew him as a child, right? Yeah, I mean, he's only, he passed away about 10 years ago. Okay, well, we actually found, and he has a lot of, uh, great songs on this thing, and we found out that you actually, uh, you actually know one of his songs. And uh, we told the band, I told the band, because they have to do what I say, I told them, you gotta, you gotta learn one of these songs. And they, they learned the song, David yeah, Crockett. Yes. Right, David. And David, how, how, right. Well, how does, how do you Jewish go? Jewish name? Yeah, I'm, yeah, what do you That's kidding? a Jewish name, yeah. oh, Brian. And uh, we had them learn it. <laughs> it passes for Jewish, yes. <laughs> And we had them learn this song, and I thought maybe there's some chance we could con convince you, maybe, just to sing one of these songs. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Is there, is there a clarinetist? Is there a clarinetist? Yeah, we have a clarinetist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have a clarinetist. Well, where's he going to go? Stay right there? Uh, Did she stay there, Max? How do you want to do this? Okay. Yeah, we could do it there or here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll go, go right over okay. there. That'd be great. Thank you very much, Jennifer Gray. Thank you. Born in the wild of the land, sea sleep. All my gefilte the fish and cold shell meat. And he bit the knife, all held at sea. He's sick, he must take in my neighbor's only cleave. He sat with the sun on the rocket in the bucket. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Looking for a maid, he met himself a satsuka local daisy flagel. One day, and five days, and the hope they like it in present of the name, Mr. Sophie. So then, oh, the chocolate, Where's, where's my 
sh I'm sharing thing here. Hold on. How do I get to unshare? Wow. Some happen here. Everybody's gone. <laughs> Everybody's gone. Where's my share? I have Farshlofen. Farshlofen. There we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. Sorry for that. Okay. It was good. Was, what did you get that, Mike? It was fun. <laughs> So, yeah. so we had a story. I was, I'll start in English so we can finish no, it in no, Yiddish. No, I'll do it in English. No, no. no. All right. So anyway, Shirley and I lived in, um, in Madrid, Spain. And we lived there in 1977 through 1979. And for Passover in 1978, Shirley's parents came. Um, and, and we were at the show. We were at the show. Hold on, Mike. Please mute yourselves. Everybody mute. Mute, mute, mute, mute, mute. Anyway, so so we we we went to the first public seder since 1492, and they had it in this huge hall. They had 500 people, and they did the seder in I think six languages. They did it in French, English, Yiddish, Hebrew, Ladino, and what else? There was one more. I think. Spanish, yes. and Spanish, and Spanish, Spanish, Spanish, yeah. and and um, there was some famous singer there that you right, an Israeli. I can't remember ben, his ben name. Amar, somebody, Joe Amar, oh, Joe, Joe okay. Amar, and he was there. He sang for us. Anyway, it was what what an evening. It was such a treat to have Shirley's parents there to to see this. It took until three in the morning. All the children were asleep on the floor, and the day before, the Spanish Queen came. Yeah. And congratulated and, and apologized. Gave, yeah, apologized and, for the right. Inquisition. And, and at, shortly after we left, the king came to a Saturday service, and he also publicly, you know, denounced the Inquisition and really welcomed all the Jewish people back to Spain. What year was that, Mike? This was this 78. was seventy-eight, April of seventy-eight. Why did you know what happened that they zeroed in at that time? I mean, what what was going on in Spain? Uh, there was there was a lot of things that were transitioning at the time. What one was a uh, thing that happened was that there was a, a, a warming up to Israel because the, the Spanish were very much um, you know indebted to the you know indebted to the oil, and so um, there was a close re relationship be becoming between the Spanish government and the Israel government. They had a shaliach that came in. And, and there were all sorts of movement at that time to recognize Israel. And people were coming back, a lot of them were coming back from Argentina because they allowed people with any Spanish ancestry, you know, like, like Argentina and, and these other countries. So there was a lot of immigration of Jews coming back. I believe there had been some point in time where Jews were not allowed to go back, right? And, and that was, you know, that was stuff. So there was a resurgence of Judaism in, in, uh, in Spain. And, and shortly after we left, they did recognize Israel. And um, it, it was just the most magnificent evening that you could imagine. Wow. And, to, and for you guys to happen to be there. Right. Well, it was, it was important that our, her parents were there, just, just you know, with, with their two grandchildren. It was just wonderful. Barbara, so, you have a so, uh, some years ago. Um, we went to uh, we went to Melbourne for um, for my daughter's second wedding there because they were married here. Um, but uh, but uh, her in laws wanted to have a, a, a party there, and it was uh, just before Pesach, so we were with with them for Pesach and. Um, and they do a very interesting version of Chad Gadya. They, they, uh, they do one, one, one pet kid, and uh, they make sounds for all the animals. And it's it's just very very funny. A very very funny ending to the um, to the seder. That's great. Nice. So I, I don't want either. I need to remember before we we finish, and we can we'll go on as long as you guys would like to talk with each other, but we're going to go three weeks now because the second day of Passover will not end in some of our time zones uh, on, on um, the Monday, two weeks from now. So we're gonna go three weeks and then subsequent to that, we'll, we'll again go every other week. So, and yeah, of course I'll remind, I'll remind everybody.
I just want to let folks know I put in the chat just now, people are talking about things in Yiddish. Um, Eichler's bookstore probably carries a whole bunch of them, but one that I know of, okay, is a Yiddish Haggadah, and I just put in a website if you have any interest at all. I think it's somewhere around $20, and, uh, you know, it's a great place to uh, to start if you want to put it, something unique into your Seder, you probably still have time to get it. Is it in Hebrew? Is it written in Ivrit? I think I think it is written with the Hebrew alphabet, with the alphabet, but I'm pretty sure that the actual thing is in Yiddish, and it's probably translated into English on the other side. As many Haggadahs are, are Hebrew English, this is probably, I just haven't seen it um, in a while, so I don't remember. And if I stop the cup. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the cup, whatever. <laughs> or as my grandmother would yell at my grandfather, kapusta, which <laughs> translates to cabbage head. <laughs> Zayda, I don't mean with disrespect. <laughs> I make it snow in my office, y'all have a problem. <laughs> Anyone else? Oh, Mike. Mike, go ahead. I'm, I'm saying sayonara. I'm saying sayonara. I have to go. Okay, well, that's your life. Have a wonderful Passover. Um, a decent Pesach. You know, a healthy one. Yes. Decent, freilicher, kusher Pesach. Kusher, that's what it was. And, yeah. And Toby, if you want to stay on, maybe we can share some photos with you. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. everyone. Nah. Good night, everybody. Happy night. Passover and a healthy Pesach to everybody. Thank you, Mike. Aziza Pesach. Pesach. Toby Newfield. Hi, Sanja. How are you? <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Are you coming home for Pesach? Yes, I'll be home during the week of Pesach. We'll spend Pesach with my kids. And how's your uh, husband? Is he okay? Yeah, thank God he's fine. I don't right. got Alice's good. Look forward good. to seeing you. Is he's Lenny good. still on? Is Lenny still on? No. No, he left. Okay. Zizan Pesach, everyone. Zizan Pesach. Zizan Pesach. Zizan Pesach. Zizan Pesach. Zizan Pesach. Zizan Pesach. Thank you so much. Gete nacht. Gete nacht. Gete nacht. Uh, to Toby, I'm going to, did she go? She's there. I'm, I'm gonna, here. I'm going to share some pictures with you in a second. Great. All right. Toby, That's, what is your name, maiden name? Herringer. Herringer. Herringer. Okay. I don't, yeah, my parents were from Poland. Where in Poland? Primona. I mean, Krasnik. Krasnik is uh, north, it's southeast of Lublin. Oh, my, my father was from uh, south of Warsaw, Otvotsk. Okay. Yeah, we were near Lublin. Yeah, my and parents. The camps, the camps they were in were all near Krasnik, all near Lublin. And yours? Uh, my father and his youngest brother were in nine camps together. Uh, mm. Some, uh, he, they were liberated from Mauthausen in Austria, I guess. And then they went to Italy, and that's where uh, he met my mother, who was Romanian. And she was in the Moldavia labor camps. And I was born in that United Nations camp. And my parents and I did try to get to Israel and were caught and incarcerated on Cyprus until uh, 1948, when Israel was declared a state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my father said he would never, ever be put behind barbed wires again. And he wouldn't even live, he wouldn't even live in a gated community. Uh -huh. He said he would never be behind gates ever again. I understand. And so but he had to have family in the United States to sponsor him. He did. He had, didn't have anyone. The only one, he had an aunt and an uncle who came here before the war. And I don't know how they found each other, 
but the only people that survived was the aunt and uncle who were in the United States before the war and his youngest brother survived. Everyone wow. else was killed. Pretty so our story. Yeah, yeah, and his brother, somehow they, they all found each other in Cremon. My mother had one brother, well, she had two brothers that survived, but one came to Cremona. And then my uncle, my great uncle here in the United States signed for all of us to come to the United States. And that's how we got here. That's and that's why I was in Brooklyn. Yeah, my uh, dad's youngest brother who survived with him married a Czech survivor who had a lot of family in Cleveland, Ohio. So oh, that's how my uncle ended up in the States. And then in 1958, we came to the United States because my aunt and uncle sponsored us. Nice. Nice. So you went to Israel in 48, 49? Yeah, in 48. Okay, we came okay. here December 49 to the United wow. States. I am yes, really and my mother had a few more relatives that survived. Her relatives in Israel survived, but they were real colored steam. They came earlier. Oh, wow. picture. Let's All see right. if I can see them. So I, I oops, what's up, Bella? So I can open these up. This is, this is, uh, I don't, can, can you see these clearly? This is Shirley's. I can. I see the first one, photo number 99.3. So this, this is Shirley's mother. In the dark uh, suit. In the dark okay. suit. And this is her. Yes. her oh, she looks a little bit like my aunt Fadel all of a sudden. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be something? The middleman is a cousin who survived. Oh. Uh-huh. So let's hear some other people. Wow. This is a picture of her, her, her, her aunt. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's some people. That's my uncle Meyer who survived with my dad and next to him is a, a cousin, but I don't know who the other two people are. Mm -hmm. Anybody familiar here? I only see three people. Oh, I see. Okay. Now I see the fourth person. Here, okay. we, don't know, we don't know who these people are. These are- uh... Anybody look familiar? <laughs> you know, I have the same thing. My parents have a few pictures from uh, Krushnik, Krushnik, and I don't know who they are. Yeah, this is in Italy. And, so, and uh, right. this is in Italy this after the war. Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> so we we'll just showed a picture of my and her. Makes my mom, sense. And friend and okay, where's, where's is that you? Is that your mother holding you? Yes. This, yeah, this yes. is uh, that's Shirley. So that's, she yeah. was just born. I think you must've been a couple of months old. Yeah, I was Not born even in, uh, this, in March you of 47. Okay, you're a little younger than I am. I was born the end of August 30th and 46. Okay, so yeah. Which, which point to which photo? My mother said I was the biggest surprise. She never thought she'd be able to have a child. Uh, you see my mom and a woman right here, yeah. and. I don't know who the woman next to my mother is. My mother is, is in the stripes, but she uh, told me that was her best friend that she made in the camp. But uh, I never got a name. I would have loved to find out who she was. Yeah, your of course. Your mother's pregnant. Your mother was very young. Yeah, my mom looks like she might have been pregnant with me at the time. Yeah. Yeah, but she's still young. My mom was only, uh, when she was liberated, she was 18. Okay. So she's very young. My dad My was much older, older because he was married and had a seven-year-old daughter uh, oh. before the war. So, and that's my dad yeah. and mom. She's pregnant here. Where? Oh, here it is. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, he was tall. No, I think he's standing on, on something. <laughs> oh, her, yes, yes. But my father, parents. Her father was, uh, was like, well, like a movie star. You, you should see. Really, be handsome man. Yes. My parents were both married before the war and they had children. My father had a four year old and a two year old girl. And my mother had a two year old girl. But my parents grew up together. My uh, father, my mother's uncle, her mother's brother, was my father's best friend. 
Oh. So he knew her all his life. He was six years older than her. And after, oh, that's so cute. My hair was like that too, up in a little curl. Of course, a chook chick. They called her the right. chook chick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, but my parents were in the last, the last camp they happened to be together. Not oh, in the wow. camp, of course. Men and women were separated. But in the death march, they caught up with each other somehow. And they, at some point, escaped from the death march. That's a ganze Geschichte anyway. And when they went back to their hometown, hoping people would return, they were told to leave the town because they survived. So they walked, hoping to get to Palestine, but they walked from Poland all the way to Italy. And when they got to Northern Italy, to Cremona, they were in the DP camp. And I don't know all the details in the DP camp. They didn't tell me all that. Yeah. You know, I got bits and pieces. Merci, Phil. Well, both of your which I'm sorry, but yeah, both my parents. Uh, uh, my mother said uh, uh, she didn't want to go back to Romania, and somehow a young Israeli man came, and a whole group of them trekked across the Al Alps into yeah. uh, Italy. So I guess right, that's what my um, parents did. Yeah. Yeah, Your dad probably did the same thing. I asked my mother how they did that. And I said, how did you know where to go? How yeah. did you know you didn't know the area or anything? She right. said they follow the electric lines across the country, knowing that the lines would take them somewhere. And so they just traveled south following the electric lines. Oh, Can you imagine? No. Can't even imagine. Well, obviously, this young Israeli knew what he was doing. And he took a whole group of them across. So it was, but the thing that both my parents told me that their three years in the United Nations camp were the best years of their lives. That they Interesting. Were, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's all good, right? <laughs> we're, there we're just, is. Hey, they survived. That? And that's that? what counts. Can you see that on your screen? I just see uh, Shirley is a baby with her mother. Oh, no, that's another picture. Well, I, I don't know why this is in Sherry. Look. My dad passed up through the sewer lines out of the ghetto to get food because he could pass Whoa. as a Syrian. Yet the family had very blue eyes. And can you see this? Oh, that's, yes, I can. I see your yeah. father now. Yeah. So. He could be a movie actor. Well, and my uncle kind of yeah. looked like Paul Newman. It was very good looking. Yeah. Very good looking. Yes. Her, her dad had the bluest eyes, and our grandson has the bluest eyes, yeah. just like him. Oh, how nice. Yeah, nice. we have three grandchildren with very blue eyes. So, <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. Where do you live now? I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, but right you know now, Lois we're in Florida. What, what's your I'm, No. What? Mm -hmm. um, who? Did you know the Lewis's, Lois, and uh, he was a dentist? What's his name? Dr. Lou. Yeah, I know the name, but I don't know if I knew oh, that. They moved to Charleston, South Carolina, and we oh, met them here. Them, yeah. We're in South Carolina. Oh, oh, I didn't realize you were in South Carolina. Yeah. In Charleston? Yes. Charleston, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. You got there for, you went there for a job, right? No. no, we retired to Charleston. Yeah, we, we bought a place down. We built a house here when, when, when I was working and Shirley was just retiring. And then we mm -hmm. commuted here for a while and then we bought another house when we decided. We had there. a friend here and we came to visit and fell in love with it. And she's usually on too. She, she, yeah, you, tonight Reggie's not here. But Mike and I are from Cleveland, Ohio. And then most of our uh, married life, we... We were in Cincinnati, Ohio, and then different. Don Lewis. Don Lewis. Yes, Donald and uh, Lois Lewis. Uh, they Don were Lowe. Yes, I know the name, okay. but they I don't really know. I didn't know. in the Jewish community. So yeah, I know the name. People. The only the people I the only people I know in Cleveland is one of my brother's best friends, Reuben Gutman. He's an attorney. I can't remember his wife's maiden name. Her father was president of the Reform Shul. Um, oh. Uh, they live in Beechwood. That's all I know. Oh, Fairmont Temple? 
Fairmont it's Temple, yes. Right. Oh, my sister yes. lived there forever in Beechwood, Ohio. Yeah, that's where Ruben lives, Ruben and Eileen. Mm -hmm. um, we've been gone, we've been we've gone, been gone for a long time. Last time I was in Cleveland was when I went to college. Yeah, we oh, really went, okay. really went off to college and we got married there. But, uh, you know, after we got married, we never lived in Cleveland again. We lived all over the place. Right. We never lived, we didn't live together in Brooklyn either. We were married there. I lived there until we got married. I went to Brooklyn College, but Ron went to Northwestern for his master's, oh. came, came back to Brooklyn, and then we got married and we moved. We moved to uh, Levittown, Pennsylvania. Where he had a job, which is just east of Philip, east of uh, Philadelphia. We were there two years and hated it. And he went back to school at Northwestern, so we were there for three years. Then he got a job in Pittsburgh, and we've lived there ever since. And we just love Pittsburgh. What? So we didn't. I didn't want to move. Squirrel Hill. That yeah, that's, that's where the, the Jews. Yeah, they lived there too. And uh, a friend has a good friend in, from that area too. So, I, I know mm -hmm. a lot of people like, you know, Warren Suffren. Who? Warren Suffren. I know, I know David Suffren. Warren Suffren, I think, was his father, right? Warren Suffren's uh, about my age. He's a little younger than me. Oh, no, then it's not the same Suffren. Okay. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people from Pittsburgh. Steve Newstein. Yes, sure. He's active in the men's club, sure. Yeah, that's yeah, how Steve we know. Warren well. was active in the men's club. Who else? Well, Warren was active in the men's club. There's a lot of people. I just can't remember their names. Yeah, right we now. can't think of the names now. I see their faces. I know. I think of their names. I know a lot of lot of people in Pittsburgh, but I know the people that were in Bethlehem. I taught there for many years, and I taught at Tree of Life Synagogue. Oh. So I know the people from men's club, like Erwin uh, Harris. I know Erwin very well. He was a, he was the men's club president there. And yes, he, he yes, spoke, I know him well. Of, uh, he spoke about what happened, and and and Don Lewis was a member there. Yeah, he he knew. Then he, I he, probably, he you know, I probably knew them, but I I don't remember. But I taught at Tree of Life for about thirty years, so I know a lot of the people. But I happen to know that Erwin was very active there. So some here I, I see my list. So I, Brian Cinnamon, Dave Edwards. Oh, Brian Cinnamon, sure. I Mil know his wife. We know Mil them well. Eisner, Mark Frisch. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mark Frisch. Mark Frisch is in uh, Beth Shalom. Yeah. I taught Ira, his kids. Ira, Ira Unger. Somebody Ira says. Unger. No. Ira Frank, I know well. Ira Unger. She's in Bethel, it says. Um, okay. Bethel South Hills. Yeah. I don't know everyone there. Stanford, it's the Squirrel Florida. Hill people I know. Yeah. Yes, and the reason we're in Florida, well, beside the fact that I really like Florida, is that we inherited my in-law's apartment. They were living here. We're in Century Village in Deerfield Beach. Oh, yeah. And we're only here for about three, four months a year, just for the winter. We go back to Pittsburgh. I just love Pittsburgh, and I don't want to leave. My friends are there. So, and we don't have, I have some family here, just a couple of cousins, but nothing that would keep me here except winter time. So we're here in the winter, then we're gonna go back for Yenta well, next week. We're, we're, we're halfway back for you. That, that's what they call people, half, we're, we're halfway. Yes, Ron has a cousin that lives in Chapin. I don't know if that's South Carolina or North Carolina. I think it's South Carolina. Oh my God. It's uh, late. Lake Murray, Lake Murphy. I heard that, yeah. Toby. Toby. Does that make sense? Yeah. Toby, I just looked up Cremona. Yes. It says it was in the hills that surrounded Milan. I think it's the same camp. Yeah. I never oh, heard really? the name. Really? Because I never heard of your camp. No, she just you knew said you were, no, I just you were also, Milan. right, if you were east of Milan also, it must have been the same camp. That's what I'm saying. The only reason I know Milan is because my mother must have had some problems uh, when she had me and they moved her to a regular hospital in Milan. So I was oh. born in Milan and that's why I have Italian citizenship. Oh, I now I have my Italian citizenship. Camp. How what? did you get your Italian 
he said, how did you get your Italian citizenship? Yeah, papers. I was not born in the camp. I was born in a regular hospital in Milan and I have a birth certificate and citizenship. Me too. You I don't have citizenship, but I have an Italian birth certificate. I was not born in the camp. I was born in a hospital in Cremona. Hospitala Madonna or something. My birth certificate's Italian. My, yeah, mine too. My, wow. Oh, that's interesting. So I bet I could get citizenship. You'd be, you, I, you should be entitled to it if you, you got it. You are entitled to citizenship and the uh, common market stuff, you know. May not right, be that's, a deal, but. <laughs> well, well we, that's we okay. missed out because they, were, they didn't have a common market when we lived in Europe because we were in Belgium and Spain. And so, you know, Shirley could have done, she would have had a little more freedom because she would have had the uh, European citizenship. Right, did you go to the Italian embassy? No. I didn't then know. Then how did you get it? I didn't have any interest at the time, so. Yeah, I think, I oh. think you know, she, she could But have how did you get your citizenship? She what did you do to get your citizenship? I think she just- I can't hear you. Her birth certificate. Yeah, we were told that all I need to do is bring my, because I have a certificate, I would be granted citizenship. Right, me too. I have a certificate. So you're a, then Mine's you're a citizen. citizen. Oh, I'll have to check it out. So you have to get, have to get right, it. Right, right, right. But um, whatever, what? you know, it, it's Oh, nice this is better. Have, yeah, it is. So okay. look, see if you have any pictures. I assume your parents are not alive anymore. No. Neither are mine. It would be just so incredible if they we, knew each other. If yeah. we knew, we saw a familiar face or something. You it know? really would be. I wonder if there are any in there because uh, my uncles were young, but they didn't stay really in the Cremona. They kind of did a lot of traveling around. Well, so, my parents, uh, uh, they, they also, tra everybody traveled because the uh, Italian government felt so guilty that they gave them train tickets and they could travel wherever they wanted to. But mm -hmm. the base was the camp. So Right. My mother did not travel a whole lot because she had me, she said, and she just yeah. didn't travel a lot. My father traveled a little bit, but my uncles were younger. They're each... 10 years younger than my, they were 10 years younger than my each parent. Um, yeah. well, my so uncle, they did more traveling. My uncle who, as I said, survived with my dad was 10 years younger than my father too. Mm -hmm. so, uh, they think, I bet they knew each other. You know, That's so funny. Well, I know. There, there's another woman from Canada, from Toronto that was yes. also from there. I don't know if she was on tonight or not. There was only one woman from Toronto. I think she was from it Toronto. It was uh, Esther. Uh, that Esther. Like yeah, there's a whole group Esther from Sheriff, Toronto. Sure. Uh, and uh, they have a lot. It's an amazing, uh, hopefully they'll be on more. They had a conflict. I think there was a conflict tonight because right. Esther Michelson wrote me. Right, right. They had a conflict. They have 400 women in Toronto that created a Yiddish speaking club. They're all daughters and granddaughters of survivors. Oh, and wow. I don't even know about that. There's so many people from Toronto here, but I don't know about that one. You well, should tell them. Yeah, tell them, and uh, we can pass. We can give them a link if they're yeah. interested. Well, the woman, the woman's name is Esther Michelson, who's the one that's in charge of it, and she's part of this group. Yeah, see if they know an Esther Michelson. Yeah, no, there's very few. There are very few people here from Toronto this year, because oh. of the pandemic. Oh, we oh, have no, a lot of to Florida. Who comes? Esther. Esther. Uh, Michelson. Some, Esther Michelson. Esther Michelson. Florida right now. How did she come in? Yeah, but Did I wonder know? where she is. Some people got in, but oh, it, it's very difficult. Yeah, but a lot of people didn't want to travel. Oh, she's got she's got a place that she owns there too. Oh, maybe that's why she comes every winter to Florida. So um, Deerfield. Beach. Do you know if she's Deerfield. in Deerfield Beach? Do you know yes, where? She is. No. Deerfield Beach. I'm pretty yeah, sure that's. Where I she think is. that's what she said, uh, but I'm not. You know, and You'll Esther have Michael said. Let me know. Okay. Well, I could meet yeah. well, we're leaving in another week and a half, unfortunately. Wow. But um, so you have two children? 
Yes, we have two children and five grandkids. Nice. Uh, our children, we gave them very long wings from all the travel we did. And our daughter is in Palo Alto, California, and our son mm. is in Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been and a been... very long year for us. How about you? For me too, I have uh, three kids. One, is, my youngest is a girl and she's in Evanston, Illinois. Okay. My middle one is a boy, he's in Brooklyn, New York. And we have not seen them in a year and a half. I know. Which is sad. That's who called, I remember I sent you a little note. I apologize, my granddaughter called me. So um, then my oldest son is in Washington, DC. He has three children. I have six grandchildren. How oh, wonderful. Which is, my daughter has two. My, my middle son has one. Yeah. Our yes, daughter so. married, she's the oldest, but she married young, did everything young. So she has a, her oldest is 21 and a half. And then she has an 18 and a half and a 14 and a half. And our son who didn't allow himself to be caught till he was 38 <laughs> has a six and a half and a three and a half. Oh my gosh, how cool. So we finally like, have a little girl. He has the three and a half year old uh, little oh. girl. So, but it's wonderful nice. to be with the older kids and the youngsters, you know, but yes. uh, it's yeah. been a very long year. We all know that. 